Spoon Rinsper now in his 14th season as the head coach at Westside is with us. Coach, last year, a four and six, not the type of year you guys usually have. First time in school history, you really haven't made the uh, or have a, had a losing season, I should say. Um, uh, the unusual, but you knew you had a lot of young players. You knew you had to find a lot of talent. I mean, uh, still hard to kind of accept that when you're so used to going to playoffs, isn't it? Yes, last year I was on suicide watch, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we had a down year. Uh, last year was our first ever losing season in school history. Uh, we only had nine seniors and had six uh, starters to get hurt, all left knee injuries. So mm. <laughs> that's a bad combination of not a lot of seniors and an injury bug just plaguing your team. But it is what it is. And, you know, the law of average finally caught up with us. And, you know, it is what it is. Had to happen at some point, I guess, in school right. history. That, that, that's for sure. Well, let's talk about your defense. First of all, for this year, you've got five starters back. You allow 25.7 points per game. Uh, youth, you got a lot of young players on defense? Uh, yeah, we got a lot of young players on defense. Uh, but what I think will anchor our defense down, we got three guys that are uh, pretty good players, and they're solid, and they, they work hard. We have Don Juan McGee who's a defensive lineman. He's uh, uh, extremely quick, uh, workaholic. So he's back and he's kind of the spirit of the defense. And I have uh, my linebacker, so just as uh, self, he's back and he's uh, a leader of our team. He's going to be a captain, he and Don Juan. And I have Shannon Fountain, who's um, a dual sport uh, sensation. He plays basketball point guard as well as cornerback for us and led a team in interceptions last year. So we're happy to have those guys back on defense. All right. Offense got some good players coming back, but they do need a quarterback. We'll talk about that with Coach Risper in our next report. Coach Spoon Risper from Westside, season 14 for him as the head coach. Always interesting to talk to coaches who are in search of a quarterback, and you are after Jalal Miller being gone now. What's the status? Well, we, we have two guys that we're, uh, we have in mind. Uh, our starting quarterback right now is a freshman. Uh, his name is James Neville. Uh, he's, a, he's a freshman. I think he'll be a freshman sensation. Uh, usually in our programs, we don't start freshmen and, because they're usually they're not ready. But we, we feel that uh, we need to put him in to go through his growing pains, and we think that he's going to be a special quarterback. All right, you've got some running backs coming back. Uh, you've got Jesse Bell. You've got Diverson. Uh, you've got Marshall, the wide receiver. So you've got some skilled players around that. You're going to have to count on them, I would imagine, to kind of step up until he gets his feet wet at quarterback, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have to, you know, try not to uh, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So we want to try to, you know, be balanced like we always are every year. We have Jesse Bell, like you said, he's our slashing running back. And we have Kadafius Iverson, who's our big power back. He's about 5'11", 210 pounds. And then we have all of our wide receivers coming back. We have our uh, top recruited uh, collegiate athlete, uh, Levante Miley, who uh, is back from last year's injury. Uh, we have Jaquavius Marshall, who's a 6'5 receiver, who he, he moves like he's about 5'10", so we're happy to have him. We have Savion Ellington, who is a, a 6'2 receiver, who's uh, very good with uh, yards after the catch. And we have, of course, my tiny Mike son, Silas uh, Risper, who we call uh, Big Leach. He'll be returning as a starter. So we have a good core and nucleus of, of players coming back on offense. Yeah, offense will be fun to watch this year. All right, real quick now, you're, you're changing regions, but only one change in the region, and it's Griffin. Thanks a lot, Georgia High School Association. All right. Oh, holy cow. Right. Uh, just to make that region with Perry, with Baldwin, with West Lawrence, and, of course, the city schools are even tougher. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. You know, our region, as a matter of fact, speaking of Griffin, I talked to uh, Coach Rusty Eason uh, today. He and I are good friends, and uh, he's from my same hometown. He's the head coach at Griffin, and mm -hmm. we was talking about, like, there won't be a night in region play where anybody can let their hair down. Yeah. And it's, it's sort of like the little SEC. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I was telling one of my top, my two top offensive linemen uh, today, uh, well, actually, it was three of them. Michael Horton, uh, Jaden Dawson, and, and Cameron Thomas. I was telling them, you know, how tough the region is, and they're going to have to be 
um, tough week in and week out and, and bring their lunch pail because it's not going to be a cupcake game in, in any region game. And all three of those guys agree with me. Yeah, it's going to be tough. First game on the 19th of August against Central Spoon. Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thanks, my friend, for having me as usual. And I appreciate you thinking enough of me to bring me on your show. All righty. Thank you. All right. See you.